Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today I'm bringing you a quick overview of the MMD rear diffuser fitting all 2015 and newer GT and EcoBoost Mustangs with the non-premium rear bumper. The MMD rear diffuser is gonna be for the 2015 and newer GT and EcoBoost Mustang owner out there looking to improve the appearance of their non-premium rear bumper to give it the flair and style that the premium package S550s offer without breaking the bank. It has definitely been a popular complaint between the S550 shoppers out there who picked up the GT and EcoBoost non-premium packages that the rear valance was kind of left plain and simple from Ford. Now this doesn't offer the exact styling and flair that the premium packages do, which is where MMD steps up to the plate to take care of that to give you that noticeable appearance the premium packages offer. Just to give you a quick rundown, if you're not aware, MMD or Modern Muscle Design is really one of the industry leaders when it comes to exterior styling parts for the S197s and S550s. Now they offer a wide variety of top of the line high quality parts to really change the look of your S550 like the one I have here. This option here for the non-premium rear bumpers will offer the same detailed fin styling you would expect from the premium packages, offered in a matte black finish with the fins protruding out much farther than stock. Now for the materials, you can expect a durable thermoformed ABS plastic. Now in all honesty, this does feel a little bit thin and flimsy in your hands, but once attached to your vehicle, it will stand the test of time and be durable enough to handle whatever's thrown at it. This is finished in a matte black pre-painted colored option. It is not offered in a pre-painted option to fit your factory color, but you could definitely take this to a custom shop of your own to get matched for your factory paint if you want it to blend in a little more. So one thing I do want to point out here, guys, is this will require you to make very, very minimal amount of drilling into your rear bumper. Now the drilling will not be visible in any way, shape, or form if you do decide to remove this in the future and it won't affect any future styling options. Now you will be drilling into these two pre-drilled holes on the rear diffuser into the bottom of your rear bumper, but again, if this is not something you're looking to do to your rear bumper, this option may not be for you. Now with the holes you'll be drilling, you will be putting push pins into place just to keep it held up there, but in addition to that, to give it some added security, there is also pre-applied 3M automotive bonding tape already put onto the back of the rear diffuser just to give it some added security and to make sure it stays in place once it's on until you're ready to take it off. Now the 3M tape will not at all affect your factory rear paint if you do decide to take it off in the future. Now for the guys out there who are still interested, expect to be spending about $250 for the MMD rear diffuser, which honestly, in the grand scheme of things, isn't too terrible considering the alternative is a full rear bumper swap to the premium package just to get that premium effect. Now this will save your wallet from taking a too bad of a beating while giving you some bang for your buck with that same premium package styling you are looking for. So moving on to the installation portion, as I mentioned before, this will require a little bit of drilling, so you will want to have a drill and a proper bit on hand, as well as the push pins, alcohol wipes, and adhesion promoter that is all included in the kit. So first things first, you want to take your alcohol wipes provided in your kit and completely clean the factory rear valance, freeing it of all dirt and dust to make sure the 3M tape can get a good bonding. Once the area is completely clean, you can apply the adhesive promoter. Now with the 3M tape backing still on the back of the MMD rear diffuser, you want to put it into place and mark the center of the pre-drilled holes on the tabs on each side, just to mark your drilling locations. From here, you want to drill a 23 64 inch hole through the pre-drilled holes on the tabs into your rear bumper and put into place your push pins provided in the kit. It may be easier to do so if you jack up the car just to comfortably have enough space to do some drilling. Once the holes are drilled and everything is in place, you can peel back the backing on the 3M tape and firmly press it into place, making sure it's lined up properly. Overall, this will take you about a half hour to an hour at the absolute maximum. I would definitely give this one a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, simply because it does require a little bit more work with the drilling. Just to quickly wrap things up guys, if you're the owner of a 2015 or newer GT or EcoBoost Mustang and you're looking for a way to spice up your non-premium rear bumper to give it that premium styling without breaking the bank on a complete bumper swap, you might want to check out the MMD rear diffuser which of course is available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.